So I'm headed to my girlfriend's birthday party and I already know what outfit I'm gonna wear. I just hope it comes out the way I'm thinking about it because if not, I'm doomed. It's gonna all come together. Watch. What a day. Listen, I love this whole get ready with me, but let me tell you, it's a lot of work, okay? <laughs> I started filming so long ago, but I'm glad that you have continued to watch. If you like this style of video, comment and let me know. I am rushing to do this makeup portion. I'll do my bangs when I finish because that took me forever. And I have two pepper jack cheese sticks because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten yet. But let's do this makeup. I'm gonna use the Fenty Pro Filter Mattifying Primer in my T-Zone. It's gonna be 60 today, but I really wanna be nice and matte in my T-zone. And I need to finish this in maybe 25. 25 minutes is, is gonna be a stretch. 30 minutes. Oh my God. I had to go grab this Estee Lauder double wear because I think that it's matte. It's been a while since I've used it. So I guess we gonna figure that out today. And I don't have time to be doing the hand and all of that. But I'm using this flat kabuki brush to do my soft glam everyday type of look. I want it to be neutral, elevated the usual stuff and a nude lip, you know? I like to go darker with my foundation because we already know it's gonna all come together and look really beautiful. So I'm headed to my girlfriend's birthday party. She's having it at this restaurant downtown called Savoir, Savoir? Honey, I have no idea. And I was like, oh, I'm about to get up today and do a full get ready with me. And then the day was daying, you know? The day was doing what the day does. And I was like, yo, I need to get on this. And then I contemplated not doing this this hairstyle because I knew that the straightening process was gonna take me forever. But then I was dedicated and I was like, I'm doing this. I already had my mind on it. I wanna do it, so we're doing it. So obviously if I'd done a different hairstyle, I would have been done by now, you know? So in the bathroom, I already soaked my sponge and I'm just, <laughs> 
getting off the excess water. Honey, getting off the excess water so I can move on. Kat Von D, TM177. Good thing is I've already started packing my bag. So if you don't already know me, I am a very organized person. I do not like disorganization, I can't function. So since yesterday I was prepping my bag, I had already written down what I was gonna wear, what the accessories were gonna be. I had already picked out my fragrance, okay? That's how organized I like to be because I just knew that doing this video was gonna take me hours and it has been hours, right? So I already set out everything and I had already started to pack my bag. I already changed my battery in my R6 because I know I'm taking that with me to get some high quality photos. And then I already knew that, of course I needed, I always have my extra, vlogging batteries in my purse and this is an elf cosmetic sponge and i charged my sony camera today because that thing i like it for many reasons but one it, one of the reasons that i don't like it is that thing dies fast now, i do have spare batteries but you know i don't always want to have to be changing it so i do charge it with the hdmi whatever you call it and just i just charge that too i don't change the actual battery often so i did that already and my purse is already ready. <laughs> I already got my tripod in there in case I need it. And it's a collapsible one. I'll link the one I'm referring to. It goes right inside my Louis Vuitton tote. And the uh, actual purse that I'm gonna carry, the small one, you know, is inside. Well, it's out, cause I'm gonna show you all me getting actually dressed and then use that portion for a reel. So there are a lot of moving parts right now. And I already know what outfit I'm gonna wear. I just hope it comes out the way I'm thinking about it because if not, I'm doomed. And this, this is my first time wearing skims i can't lie to you years ago i had purchased a skims undergarment and when it came i won't lie i thought something was wrong i was like excuse me are they trying to rip me off why does this look like it belongs on a baby and then when because when skims first came out and then as i started seeing holes and stuff i was like oh my god that's how it's supposed to be it's supposed to look like a baby's onesie and then when you put it on it fits you i was dumbfounded i couldn't believe it so now post-surgery knowing that i'm going to use that as my stage two garment i just made some purchases. So I have the bra thing that goes, the onesie, what do you call it? Yeah, the undergarment that has the shorts. It looks like a, you know, a surgical garment, basically. But nice and stretchy and good. And then I have on right now the same one, the same looking one that has a bra with it too. And it's the thong version. And I love this. I got an LXL. This thing fits fabulously. It is freaking tight. It is fantastic. I am just so shocked at how much this is controlling my abdomen. LYS contour, this is the color worthy. I am so surprised. I am very, very tucked in. Now the issue with this long version is that it's a real high cut, you know, and I still need to compress my hips. So I just have this on for today. When I come home, I'll put back on my other garment. I am almost five weeks right now. So I'm still supposed to be in stage one. Although I have a doctor appointment coming up soon. So I'm gonna ask her if I can go to stage two, but I'm just doing stage two today because I got somewhere to be, you feel me? <laughs> Hello. So that's how I'm doing it. So I'm taking a little bit of this product on this Rare Beauty brush and then applying it because this color is so deep and so good. When I put it onto my skin right away, however, I can't control it very well because it's just so dark. And I've made too many mistakes where I took too much, you know, when you do the wiping. So putting it on the brush and applying it this way gives me way more control. And with the Sephora 79 brush, eyes looking wild and crazy using this Huda Glowish Luminous Pressed Powder I'm gonna set under my eyes. I love how this gives a glow under the eyes. I would say I did not like this in the beginning, but boy, do I love it. I do this with every look. It's just phenomenal. I love the under eye area being so glowy. Even in the winter time, I don't care what the weather is. We gonna glow. And then when I do my face powder, which if you're, like, if you're thinking, why am I doing that? Watch the video I have on that. It may not even be a face powder. Well, just look at the beginner makeup tutorials playlist on my channel and you'll find it in there. It's gonna all come together, watch. And then this is the e.l.f. Camo Powder Foundation TN 450N, same brush. And it's gonna give more color so more coverage, but really it's gonna amplify the lightness of this highlight. <laughs> and just set it, just make it look beautiful, you feel me? Mm, 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 mm. But if you do this, I wanna know, like do you normally use a translucent powder or are you using something with color? To further intensify the contour, this is the Patrick Ta made for shade. I'm using the middle color because these are so bold. The middle is just 
fine. The other one, the deepest one, wow. Oh, this is the Sephora 59 Pro Powder Brush. I'm using it at an angle to further deepen this contour, honey. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Leftover product under the chin, honey. I was gonna, I almost, I almost tapped in, but let me not, cause it could look a little wild and crazy, kid. You feel me? So let me not even, I literally almost tapped in. Let me close it so that I don't cause any more confusion. Always look at the whole thing to ensure that it's looking how you intend it to look. <laughs> Stuff can go left real fast, you feel me? So this is the Elf Camo situation and the color is Rich 610C. Powder foundation, yes, of course. It's warm, which is what I want. I'm going over everything. And I've been enjoying this Rare Beauty highlighter, the press version, because I love the color flaunt. So here it is. And I use my finger. This is very pigmented. Oh, wait, I was taking my sponge. I did one time. Yeah, let's do that. So that it melts automatic, automatically, yes. And it still has a little bit of concealer on it, but it's okay, you know? Cause I use the concealer in this same area. So it's not alarming. And then the backside just to blend. Do you see that? It was just a little bit harsh looking and I just wanted to blend it. So taking some of the product right under the lip. So the chin area, but more so under the lip, wiping off the excess. And now I want to further blend. I really want to just want to, <laughs> blend some more with the clean side of this and see how it's more subtle. It was louder earlier. All right. And then we already have the highlight going on because of the luminous setting powder and the face powder really did bring it all together. You know, I love a good orange blush. So let's do, is this one the frosty? I don't know. Is this frosty? Wait a minute. This is the blush I'm going to use. This is the Patrick star again. This is the cheek clapper 3d blush trio. Mm-hmm. Nice tongue twister. I don't know why they be doing this to us. This is a MAC brush that I've had for ages. I don't even know the name of the number, honey. Okay, this is the middle version, the orange. I'm gonna tap off a little bit and go here. Yes, very pigmented. I just didn't want there to be too much, but now I'm going back in again. <laughs> but when I'm back in again, you see how I started here, not here. That'll give me too much in the front of my face. Starting here, bringing it back. Ooh, very delicious and gorgeous. Also starting in the middle and then I go back and then I come to the front. Okay, now I need to blend because I can really see it on this side. And I'm gonna go with my contour over this just toward the hairline and in so that it still gives that dark gradient because I don't need it to look so orange back here. And then with what's on the brush, which is really left over at this point, we're coming into the face. So this is a nice subtle orange situation. And how are we liking this light in this new setup? Let me know. I just, I love the lifestyle style aspect of these, of how I film these days, and just in general on, on YouTube. And I wanted a new location and I have a new light to give me continuous, amazing, fantastic lighting. Back with the 59 brush and the Made for Shade Sculpting Trio. And I'm gonna go right back here. I want this part to still be dark, like a shadow, you feel me? Not too much orange. Yes, orange, so that it blends, so that there's a gradient, but this part back here still needs to be dark. You heard me? So here we are. I need a shave. That looks like hair. So it's giving this, uh, it's giving more of a shadow than I would prefer. <gasps> Annoying! Do you shave your face? Comment and let me know. Now let me do my eyebrows. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Sheet in the color Natural Black. And for the eyes to do my usual look, this is the Love Fest Obsessions palette. I think it's called Obsessions. So let me take this reddish brown and go in the crease. You know how I do. And with this quick and easy soft glam look, I don't be doing a, uh, ooh, this is a very loud color. Whoa, louder than I remembered. What? Okay, it's gonna come together, but this is louder than I remembered it being. Very pronounced. Let's wipe off the excess. And I'm gonna put the brown as the smoky eye. This is my soft glam look, just using different products. Okay. And this color right here is the dark color that is right here in the top corner. It's looking like a plum brown, but it's definitely giving the deepness that I want in order to create a smoky eye. And while my lash glue gets ready, which will be linked down below along with all the things that I've used in this whole entire video, I'm gonna put on my lipstick. This is my first time using this Tris Luce. 
just loose it. Yeah, I guess. Empower me warm copper. But let me, I don't know. Well, yeah, that might look pretty actually. On the outside, oh yeah. Ooh, that matches my skin so well. If you've ever used anything from the brand, let me know, this is my first time. I like this color. It's creamy and it feels like a satin, so lovely. Thank you. And I want something, this is more on the pink. I don't want pink, I want more caramel in the center of my lip today. Let's see what I have. No, you're not gonna find this one. This is this is actually so bad, this is old. This is Shayla and ColourPop, slow down. Mm. You see what I mean? I want that something caramel like this. You feel me? Oh my God. You're not gonna find this and you're gonna be like, ah, I want that color. Watch my nude lip combinations video. I have some good ones and one that looks like this combo, okay? Love, okay? And bottom mascara is this Lawless One and Done mascara. I'm gonna put this on after my lashes. So let's do the lashes now. And then I press these together, also linked below. This is from Revlon. And because my nails are so long, I've gotta use something like this. And it works so well. All right, and this is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you like this style of videos and I'll make sure I add some more to my repertoire. Make sure you subscribe, follow me on all socials and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Bye.